Hello everybody and welcome to Throwback Thursday. So, today we are playing Companions of Zenith. Uh, this is a game from 1993 of the old Legend uh, style games. Which were really interesting because they kind of took went back to the old uh, days of Zork and stuff like that. Where it was go north, pick up this, pick up that. But with uh, animated pictures and stuff like that. So, we are playing, uh, let's see here. Well, let's go ahead and just dive right on into the game, shall we? So, we open this letter. Duck, my parents grounded me indefinitely for staying out so late with you last night. You really could have kept better track of time. It's not like we didn't do anything to make it worth the punishment, is it? Wow. In case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm breaking up with you. See you around, Pia. Well, that's nice. And she returned the bracelet that I gave her, apparently. Yay! Okay. So, let's see. Oh, right. It's too dark. So, let's turn on the light. <laughs> yeah, good old, uh, good old games like this. These, these are always kind of fun. Uh, let's see. We have a tea bag. Take the tea bag. We have a towel. Look at the towel. Can we take the towel? No, don't look at the towel again. Can we take? We can't take the cabinets. I didn't tell you to take the cabinets. Took, told you to take the cap. Just picture of, just a picture of a hand towel. The real ones are stacked inside the cabinet. Okay, so open the cabinets. Oh, tell oh, now I'm getting a telephone call. What? Hey, Doug, it's Ed. How's it going? Hi, Ed. So. Things pretty well. What's up? I've been fooling around with this new computer game. I know how much you hate them, and I was thinking of making a you a bet about this. Okay, so another wager. As we saw earlier, Zenith and Earth, the two demons, are wagering something or other. So let's find out. Uh, okay. What kind of a bet did you have in mind? Once you start playing it, you'll really enjoy it. Okay, what's the catch? What if I don't like this in the game? Here's the deal. If you like the game, you'll let me go out on a date with your girlfriend, Pia. <clears throat> ex, ex girlfriend. Um. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can have my motorcycle. What do you think? All right. I can already feel the bike within my grasp. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, we have a heart. Have a, uh, let it rot. It's worth nothing. Not worth the effort. Well, I'll take the sandwich at least. Okay, I have a sandwich now. Yay! Yes. Oh, that's right. Uh, I can't just double click on the. So I'm guessing I'm waiting for a package. I'm just gonna wait here while with the door wide open. Let it rain into the house. All that good stuff. So, I'll take the package. Where'd the package come from? Alright. Game Companions of Zenith. Let, getting a little meta here. Okay. I'll take the diskette. And that tells you exactly how old this game is. Because they're actually saying, Oh, well, it's uh, the game is on a diskette. So, put it in the floppy drive. Close the floppy drive. Turn on the computer. And... Okay, little guy on the screen. Look at the screen. Look, look deep into the screen. Yes, a strange male figure studies you expectantly. Well, aren't you a forward little fellow? Hi, I'm Grand Girl. Because, welcome to the game. It's my job to answer any questions you may have about saying that the game or your potential companions. Okay, tell me about this companion. Uh, what am I supposed to do with 3D glasses? Beats me. They're pretty cool, though. They don't look like ordinary glasses. Well, duh. Okay, you know what? I'm already ready. I've read, you know, this one actually, this this game actually was based on a book by Piers Anthony of um, 
he's he he had just tons and tons of Zenith novels. And they're all really excellent, especially the later ones. If you like puns, you'll like you'll you'll like his style. So we have three companions. We have Ginny, we have a centaur, we have uh if I remember right, the Naga princess and a demoness. But I'm gonna choose the princess, because hey, who doesn't want to travel with a princess? She's half as good as Leo was. We'll be alright. So, everything's in black and white. Well, gee, let's try putting on the 3D glasses. And everything's in color. Wow. Okay, so, nada, nada, naka. Just give me a moment to figure out. Okay, so we have to give her a moment to figure out. To, to kind of explore the cave. Which is probably a good thing we have a Naga since in Zenith they live underground and everything. So, alright. Come on, find the door. There we go. Alright, so she's found which door is the right door. Let's leave. Oh, yes. Early, early, early screen caption animation, which did never looked really good. And this little screen is us, because we don't believe in magic. Except I believe in magic, and it's obvious you don't. How do you know that? Because you're still in the shape of a screen, yada yada yada. If you, you know, if you want to go through and read all the text and everything, play the game for yourself. Uh, the link will be down below. I don't know, I may wind up doing, playing this game on a full time, ba uh, a full playthrough eventually, depends on... It really depends on the reaction for this for this game. Okay. No, I don't think it's a real place yet. No. Yada yada yada. Also, I'll offer you advice to find the game and possibly win the game. Okay, so yes. We have uh let's see here, what's up here? All kinds of stuff. Red fruit. Uh, let's look at the red fruit. What is the red fruit? See, it's several red cherry-shaped fruit hanging off the tree. Ah, yes, cherry bombs. And in Zenith, they actually are bombs. Like, they explode massively. Not as bad as pineapples. Uh, there's buttercups, so let's pick up a buttercup. Oh, hey, there's butter. We can take the butter out. Now, that's one of the weird things with this game is you actually see the item and what's in the item and you actually have to, you know both of them appear to be just in your inventory but you actually have to uh, you actually have to t pick it up and take it out of now um, I have played this game ages and ages ago and I remember some of it so we can use a buttercup to catch a firefly now we have a firefly which will set fire to things by the way Ah, uh, let's see here. You are standing in the dark, misty forest. A lonely firefly buzzes from tree to tree. Nada hesitates. Why are you hesitating? Ah, uh, okay, never mind. Um. So yes, we have a spring. Let's look at the spring. You look about the pool and see a hazy image of bodies moving about. You kneel down and study the image carefully. You recognize Jenny Elf and Sammy Cat approaching a shoreline. So we're seeing their aspect as well, so... Um, so yes, they're at a spring... If I remember right, they meet, uh, they meet a merman who's able to form his, you know, his, his fish-like tail into legs. That's their special talent. If you're not familiar with Zenith, everybody that lives in Zenith has a magical talent of some sort. Um... And it can be in, it can be literally like anything. So, okay, they're at the water wing. They're, they're a ways ahead of us. Probably because she actually believes in magic. I don't believe magic. Okay, so. Ah, see, there's a sensor ship. It's a ship with uh, smoking sensors. And basically, it prevents you from saying certain things. Again, the punniness of Zenith is tremendous. 
So t let's talk to the head. Hello, mundane screen and beautiful Naga princess. I am a woodwright by trade and the appointed headman of Isthmus Island. Please state your business here. I don't have any. Are you in business here? Yes, I'm a woodwright. I cut wood right. If you would bring me some wood, I would probably be able to fashion that wood into your liking. You would? I would. Ha ha ha. A wood right, huh? How about you give me some wood right now? That's not the way it works, Screen. Bring me the wood and I make it right. Okay. What's happening in this part? Uh, we have a ship that's tied down to a... That's a peep of a beep! Wow. It really is a censorship. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, this is a really, really fun game. So yes, uh, we have to find the fairy Nuff in order to... Oh man, my, my butter melted. <sighs> so yes, see, we can come in here. And there's the, sen and there's the censorship. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and continue on. I think we're going to... You ha now, with Zenith, you do have to be kind of careful, because a lot of things can happen badly. For example, there's this pail in the row that nobody seems to be able to pass. As you can see, we can kick, and all of a sudden it turns from a pail to a bucket, so we can kick the bucket. Bonk! It flies away. And guess what? You try to kick the bucket, but it leaps into the air as your foot approaches and lands far off in the distance. Maybe you'll be more successful at your kicking it after you've caught it. So yes, we can, you know, now, if I remember right, if you actually do manage to kick the bucket, yeah, you die. Anyway, that's about 14 minutes of this game. Like I said, it is a long game. It's a big game. Um, and it's a really fun game. Now, as always, um, it is this, you know, just about everything I do on Throwback Thursdays is considered abandoned wear. So this one is available for download. Um, you will need DOSBox on your computer to actually play it because it doesn't run in Windows. But if you would like to play the game yourself, check the, 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 the link for it right down below in the description. Um, and that's about all we have for today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more from Olaf Productions. Cheerio! Picking up a okay, transwarp so signature. Stand. It's right on top of us. The board. No. Basically, after the Thundercats. The general idea of the series is that the heroes were partly metal, partly real.